Welcome again to our channel, the African Presidential, where we say African greatness and greatness to the world. In today's video, we want to look at the seven giants of Africa. But quickly, we want to look at the facts of a giant, or what makes it a giant. Well, we know a giant, the ability to break things. One that has a strength based on size and ability and can do things, create change, shape the place, break things in pieces. So those are small things that make you a giant. But most of all, a giant is a very strong mind. So based on the, the mental strength of what is happening now in our land, in our home, in Africa, we could say we have seven new giants mentally. We already know one of the giants, Nigeria, was always one based on size, based on history and historical facts. But now, the seven giants are again Nigeria, Niger, Mali, Burkina Faso, Rwanda, Uganda. And lastly, but not most importantly, Guinea. So again, we have Guinea, we have Nigeria, we have Burkina Faso, we have Mali, we have Niger, we have Nigeria, and we have Rwanda. Those are our current seven giants that are shaking things in Africa and making the chains that Africans are needed so we can have a brighter future and a better life for our children children. The issue is what are the changes that need to be taken in place in Africa? I could say it's happening in West Africa. Right now in West Africa we have tenants, or we could say people who believe that based on the color of their skin and the color of their eyes as well emperor of Ethiopia status that they should be the landlord and not the tenant even though you cannot go to their house and do the same so right now all giants have risen up you know Niger, Burkina Faso as I mentioned again and Mali and they are telling these tenants that look this is our house and if you want to be here we don't have a problem with you but you got to obey our rules and you have to live according to our traditional way of life and so that our people can prosper as you are living among us are doing business with us basically these tenants believe that colonialism and imperialism is the best for africa and it should not end but currently our giants are now breaking that chain and we want to applaud them especially the work of niger and Burkina Faso and the leaders of these two countries or we could say nations especially we want to shout out to the leader of Burkina Faso young 35 year old he's doing a great job he was recently at the Africa Russia summit where he made the point that Africa has too much basically to be called or labeled poor or to be taught a poverty doctrine we have all the resources we need but yet still all these resources are only benefiting our tenants we need to turn the table break things down and start brand new and fresh and this is what these seven giants are now doing are implementing even though some may say one of our giants nigeria is not playing its role properly but only time will tell but one thing we know for sure africa no longer has what we call one one giant but seven and we really applaud the new giants again mali burkina faso niger guinea uganda and rwanda great job it is time that we allow history to teach us that africa belongs to africans and that the resources of africa should be beneficial to African people first 
and then no problem with the world or others getting the benefits but we cannot continue to give away our resources for free or to our tenants that tend to be I tend to think that they should be the landlord shout out to Africa again shout out to our African greatness and we just want to say that these giants should continue to part their hand so that the, our future for Africa or the 